five years. Here's a question, am I going to go to war with anyone for five years? This is a risky tactic. But I think it might pay off. Might. It's going to suck a bit. Because we're going to get contained. But I don't plan to go to war for a while. So yeah, it's going to suck a little bit. Propose peace. Do that. Yeah. That changes that around. I'm really just scared of the fucking French at this point, to be honest. I'm pretty certain... Yeah, everyone's saying save. Yeah, this is this is probably one of those times. I'm interested to see what the outcome of this would be. Uh, the war goal conquest. French actually not joining in, interestingly enough, but proceed with it anyway. So we are over the infamy limit, which is not a good thing. Refused to join us in our just in a war. We were in the French sphere. I'm impressed. Now, I, I saw this coming, and that's fine. Yeah. Just, just go away, that's fine. We got contained. That was to be expected. Okay, do I actually care about the Russian? Okay, yeah, the Russians have a fleet. Whatever. That's fine. We are apparently in a sphere, though. I was not actually aware at the time. Yes, we are. That's fine. We lost, lose all, all our prestige for it, which sucks. But I did just gain, you know, some extra provinces. Which are kind of nice provinces. It's a good start. What is offering contamination to do? Uh, prevents us from building more troops, and also totally rips all of our prestige out of everything. Pretty badly. Uh, so yeah, it sucks a little bit. It sucks. It totally sucks. But you know what? I'm okay with that. So yeah, I can't build, I can't build any uh, boats or armies now. That's all. So, no war for a while, but that's okay. <laughs> Well, it isn't that bad for a minor power. Exactly. That's why I'm playing the gamble. That's why I'm just like, yeah, you know what? Let's get contained. Sure. It all works out in our favor, I think, here. We're ditching the small arms factory. This proved to be a decent enough venture. I'll fund it. Good. So what are the projects right now? Expand liquor distillery? my funding. Now, unfortunately, we also have to pay a lot of war reparations. Which blows. So we're not going to be able to fund the administration all too much. Like, that's the real kicker, is being in being contained, is you have to pay the war indemnities. Which is bullshit. It really shouldn't be. War of containment like that really shouldn't contain that. But, oh well. I know it. We're just going to pay it. I'm fine with it. Because you know what? I think getting this uh, this bit of land here this early is extremely helpful for us. Sure, it's all colonial. Nobody cares, though. Maghrebi, Berber, and Maghrebi. Do mean immediately? That's gonna happen. As always, yes, yes, contain two Sicilies. This was always a weird system with this and how this worked. There. 
And of course, France is a dick bag, by the way. Yeah. And so now we're paying even more war indemnities, which isn't surprising. Um, we're probably just going to end up going bankrupt. I think that's probably the best way to get out of this. In a sense. Because we actually can't pay all the war indemnities. Which is fine. I knew I was going to come out of this losing all my prestige. And going bankrupt isn't the end of the world. Um, really isn't. Because we have no prestige to lose. So yeah. It's alright. But yeah, we have to pay that for the length of the truce, which blows. I knew this was going to happen. And that's fine with it. It's not. Containment's awful. Containment's awful if you're a great power or plan on going to war or anything in the next while. The problem is I'm going to get contained by literally everybody, rather than just a single containment war. But we're back under the infamy limit now, so it's not going to be a problem any longer. That was the last of the containment wars. The question now comes as to whether or not I can pull out off not bankrupting. I mean, I'll tariff up to prevent it as well. That's fine. What if I best to fight it? I suppose I have to drop education funding. Oh yeah, sure, France. Because I'm sure uh, all that fucking... Uh... <laughs> On the plus side, the French lost a decent chunk of prestige, I think. Because, no, no, actually, I don't think they lose prestige if I'm over the infamy limit when they decline. I don't think they actually lose the, any uh, prestige for it. Oh, well, like I said, this was a gamble. I think it paid off because we got most of Algeria. I'd like to think it paid off anyway. <laughs> I like to think it paid off. Alright, so on that note, you know what we could use right about now? The stock exchange. And money. Because I really don't want to fucking pay off any more fucking war and dominoes. When do our truces expire and we stop paying? Somewhere 5960. Okay, so another four years. That's alright. We can pay as much of the loan as we can. Good. Now let's walk through the desert and get rich on Sokoto clay. Fuck no. Let's wait until A, I can build troops. B, I wouldn't go over the infamy limit because you know I will always get. N You're in the fucking sphere of the US. Am I scared of the US? Not this early. No. The US can't get over here. Should be safe. Should be safe. I'm pretty certain the US can't actually get over here. So I'll be able to annex Okoto, no problem. But, yeah. It's a good start, at least. And we now have a prime position for later, anyway. There. The stock exchange should help out a little bit. Just keep trying to pay off the loan wherever we can. Like I said, we still had a few more years of this bullshit to put up with, but that's okay. I took a gamble, and you know what? I still say it paid off. I think it was the right right call. Is, like I said, bit of a bit of a weird gamble, but I think it was the right call. It's tough to say though. We also now have access to Ottoman Africa as well, which might be useful as time goes on. Interestingly enough, none of, uh... 14 hour work day. The real problem now is, uh, the red shirts. You see, I need to be ahead of Sardinia Piedmont in order for, uh, the red shirts to give me the crown. Which would be fine. I have no problem with that. I actually kind of expected to have the red shirts, you know, make me Italy already. But, you know how it is. So, that's a bit of a problem. It's okay, though. It's not the end of the world. It pays alone. There we are. Yeah, keep the tariffs up. Increase education funding if we can, though.
Yes. It's, it's toughy. I'd like to keep my boats, though. Machine parts? What the fuck? Hells no, I'm not funding that shit. Yeah, that fixed my fucking problem. There we go. Fund the education system. Start dropping tariffs a bit. There we are. Yeah, machine parts factory closed. I'm not surprised. Uh, I don't really care much for that. I'm much more in favor of farming and mining output here. Yeah. Or perhaps it's time for... Yeah, we'll probably grab organized factories. Alright. Good. So yeah, we now have access to Spanish Morocco. As well as the uh, Ottoman Africa region. So we, we actually have room for expansion here now as well in Africa. So we'll see how that goes. We will see how that goes. Yeah. Fish is still the most thing we ever fucking produce. Alright. Luxury furniture might do okay. We'll see. So, what new resources did we acquire out here, anyway? A decent amount of things like grain. Fortunately, not anywhere near money to start expanding the infrastructure. Which would be good. Since it would, you know, increase the production rate here. Oh, well. That's fine. All right. We're up to 1858, though, so slowly these war indemnities will start going away soon. Which, uh, you know, cross our fingers. Cross our fucking fingers. All right. Scientific management, go. Get no prestige. Oh, well. Okay. Nice, nice. Just wait for the war indemnities. <sighs> this is the... This is... We're almost through them. Then we're right back on track. The Ottoman liberation of Syria. Ethiopian liberation of Egyptian Eredia. Eritrea. And Egypt's getting fucking dismantled. You know what I should do? Although I'm pretty certain I can't justify a protectorate, can I? Yeah, no. Not yet, anyway. Maybe maybe afterwards. We'll see. Probably still too big, but... We'll see about, uh... Gathering enough stuff for Sinai. We'll want to control that region if we can. Wouldn't hurt. Alright. On the plus side, we seem to be making money again. Yeah, there we are. Drop most of the war indemnities. Ottoman Aegean Islands. Cool. And ditch the tariffs. Perfect. Everything's fine. War indemnities are going away. And we're right back on track, minus a fuckload of prestige. But, that's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. The real trick now is that everyone's busy being sphered by France, and I gave up my probably best shot at great powerhood. So. I need to have a look around here. We're down to 15 infamy. Can we justify... No, we can't, uh, we can't eat Sokoto in its hole yet, unfortunately. So I'd be more interested in, say, Sinai? Yeah. Sinai region. Any chance I can get, uh, military access from you? Infamy. Good ol' infamy. It's a problem, because I don't actually have ships right now, do I? No. Alright, I lost those in the peace treaties. I'm not even allowed to have peaceful transports. That's how badly I got contained. Hmm. 
Officials Imperialism, Market Regulations, and Naval Statistics. Eh. Alright. Well. Nah, we wait another month and uh, grab Empiricism, don't we? We do. Yeah. Wait some time. And... Good. Alright. And the Conservatives are... Now actually the most popular in the Upper House. Good. Everything is excellent then. Minus our prestige. <laughs> there is no gods. I probably shouldn't have clicked that button. That was the wrong button. Okay. Mm -hmm. Pacifism. No, we don't care. Um. Alright. So, let's re-up all of our spending then, shall we? Good. You guys all intact? Yeah, for the most part, minus this artillery. Part of the red shirts. Up to 16th with literally no, uh... No anything, so yeah. It would be nice now to, say, build up another army. Because we can. 